Yeah, Camp Resolution here in North Highlands has about 50 steady residents or so, but they also have homeless sacramentans from around the city who come in here on a daily basis relying on both water and a clean shower. But the camp no longer has either of those available, and those who live inside of the camp fear for how much longer they can go without both of them. Worried Sacramentans stepping up with bottled water donations. After Camp Resolution's water is shut off. It's pretty sickening, just to be real. Day four for the 48 residents of the camp off Colfax Street without running water. We have come to rely on that water. A Sacramento County spokesperson tells Fox 40 federal funds granted to the county during COVID for water and portable showers dried up on Sunday. The county reportedly using the remainder of that money to stock up on water for the rest of the summer and offer homeless Sacramentans a gallon a day. It doesn't have to be like this. Betty Edwards is a dialysis patient recovering from a recent open heart surgery. It's kind of hard when you have to keep it clean and stuff and you don't have no, you know, no water or nothing like that. A donator just hooked her trailer up with a battery powered generator, but others parked on the paved lot aren't so lucky. There are 104 inside the trailers. I mean, you don't have to do the math to figure out that if you don't have water, you're not going to survive in that. But the dozens at Camp Resolution don't have much other choice. This isn't a place for anybody to live. Nobody wants to be here. It's only temporary. Until she finds a permanent home, this camp is Desiree Pryor's only hope. A last ditch stop for any water or food after Pryor was swept from her home last week. They took my hygiene, my medication, they took it all. We know that this kind of heat kills people. And that's the ultimate fear here, right, by the people inside of Cape Resolution and homeless Sacramentans all around the city is that if they don't have reliable water, they may not survive this heat streak that we are currently in the middle of. And I reached out to the city just to see if they are doing and came in sweeps right now. They tell me they are, but they're primarily focusing on those on private property that are violating city code. I also asked about the future of water supply here at the camp and at other encampments around the city. They tell me they don't plan on supplying water directly to those encampments but do say that they have reliable water available at about 160 locations across the city, primarily at parks and community centers. But as you saw in the video, many volunteers here, donors who are coming in, uh, laying down uh, water bottles as well as other cooling supplies. If you would like to try to find a way to donate, you can look how to do so on our website at fox40.com. Reporting live in North Highlands, covering local news that matters. I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.